Hey folks, Colin here. Introduce you to a friend of mine called Mark. Mark and I have been discussing an issue he's got with, had with his neighbours over the, over a while. What, what was happening there, Mark? Uh, just basically the dog just was barking all night from about 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock at night till about 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, constantly for hours and hours and hours. Um, and just couldn't get any sleep, really. Right. When I was chatting to Mark, we, we actually talked about a few things about approaching the neighbour. Had you approached the neighbour? Were they amenable to hearing about the barking issue? Uh, firstly not. She wasn't aware of it. And then we were just uh, kind of dealing with it. And then we decided to approach her. Um, at first, this didn't really work. So we decided to go to the Shire. Um, the Shire is such a long process. Uh, waiting on forms and everything like that. So we just decided to get one of these. Right, barking cover, the barking... The outdoor bark house. Outdoor bark house. That's those up there, so we've got plenty available. Um, so now with this, you've probably seen from the other videos, if we turn it on to test mode, it's picking up the, the noise of us talking and it's activating. When we turn it into the ultrasonic mode, we've got a detection, a listening range of five 10 or 15 meters and the ultrasonic which is the irritant to the dog comes out the same level so mark how did the results go uh it was absolutely amazing it's in the as soon as i put it up the dog came out and i was just watching it and you can see actually that it affects the dog and the dog just kind of runs away from it um i hang it up on my palm tree on a little bit of an angle how'd you do that um basically the Two screws are here and here, hooking yeah. it up, and then I put another two screws just under it, yeah. there and there, so it was kind of at an angle, and the fence starts about, say, half a meter away, and just like that. What we're seeing there, the, the, the best thing to do is get clear line of sight with this product. Now, the interesting thing, though, is with their adverse effects, nobody likes to affect their, dog's na their, their neighbor's dog. Um, to the point where they're going to change their personality to become irritated by the but by the unit So did you get any adverse effects from the dog with the irritate? Well, not, not at all. No, not at all um, I Haven't seen any change really except for him when he comes to the fence He starts barking and he runs away. So no, I don't think cool. that's okay him. key things that are happening here We're making it more uncomfortable for the dog to bark than it used to be uh, we're sending him away from the area that it, it, it is um, usually barking at and we're doing that over time so results I, I know when Mark first put this up we had to have a chat about aiming it better because it is clear line of sight it's not mm -hmm. going to go through fences yeah uh, and so when you lifted it up and did the angling thing you got better results 100 yeah. percent yeah and that was the problem that if you don't it's, it's just logic that the waves go this way so if you want the waves to go the dog's always around the fence in my uh, scenario so yeah it has to be that way okay that, that, that that's good news um, but here mark you did the right thing approach your neighbor if you do have a barking dog problem and hey if you own a dog and you do get a complaint from a neighbor in my opinion the neighbors are not going to come around because your bark, dogs bark three or four times and knock on your door and say hey guys your dog's barking so really take heed uh, of the fact that someone's prepared to pluck up the courage come around knock on your door and say hey mate your dog's barking you much can you do something about it We've got other products here that if you own a dog, uh, they're products that I would um, use on individual dogs as well, and this is more like a broad control also. So some people have even had to position maybe two of these to cover greater areas, because they are limited with areas, but a great result. We, we can't stress how much of a good result we're getting with this sort of thing. Um, and use, use a, a, a broad approach. Ask the neighbours to do something. Maybe they can take the dog inside for a little while. They can get a bark control collar. They could rent one from us. And if you get that, it's certainly going to help with the overall. It's about bark management. Do you think it's like a management process? Yes, you can, you can deal with barking, but not hours and hours and hours of barking. That just reduces the amount of barking um, dramatically. So family life was definitely suffering because of the dog next door. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Life good now? Perfect. How long have you had this up? Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, and yeah, look, he's happy, fresh. I know Mark, he actually makes me coffee down at the local <laughs> Dome Cafe, so he's a very good friend of mine. Um, but he's had great results with this. You can see that light going off, um, and we can turn it to test mode so we know that it's actually working. Anyway, Mark, thanks for that. Great Thank feedback, you. and I'm glad I was able to help you out and it all worked out well. Regards to your, um, your wife and your daughter. Thank you so much. See you, folks. See you later. Bye.